Welcome to this week's edition of The Passion of the Digital Artist. And here he is, that passionate digital artist himself and his dog Alaska, Jeff Mueller. Woo! Hey Xavier, how are you doing? I'm great, Jeff. How are you doing? I'm doing great. This is a... Uh... One of my my newer editions. He's been around for a while, but has been. I think he's he stumbled into the blog once yes, or twice in the past. Yes, Alaska. And he's a good boy. Yes, he's a real he has nice boy. Really, really shaped up these days. That's for sure. Yeah, he's a good boy. All right, this week uh, had a great week. It's been it was an awesome week. We had the '80s show. That uh, was an awesome show. Yes, that definitely. Uh, Xavier and his wife and me and my wife. Uh, kind of had a great, great time. Uh, Not it, only at the booth, but uh, walking around a little bit and hitting the gallery across the street and having a beverage. And like you said, hitting the booth. Uh, I'd like to thank Craig Booth for uh, putting on the show. It was great. Yeah, awesome job, Craig. And then I'd also like to thank Craig and Vanessa for keeping me in uh, the drag zone for the last two years. Uh, I got an announcement that I will be leaving the gallery uh, in Canton. I'm going to be do, be around. He does two shows a year, so I'm going to be participating in that. But uh, he, I'm going to be getting... Uh, the Canton art scene is uh, kind of expanding out. And then uh, First Fridays and, and a lot of things going around town, I spend a lot of time at the gallery, and I want to get out and keep meeting all the different people in the Canton art, and art scene. So uh, I'm going to be leaving the drag spot and uh, getting out more in Canton. But with every leaving, there's always a gain. Uh, my artwork is going to be displayed at the Launch House in Cleveland. Now, that particular venue, the Launch House, is, a, is not the traditional gallery type setting. It's it's a newer type thing that I'm going to be experimenting and venturing out into and it's very, very, very exciting. Uh, we'll have to see what happens. Uh, up there, Sam and Dar, they, they, they run it. It's, we've covered this on the blog. They're a seed investment company. They get, they basically uh, link the, the Cleveland businessmen and investors in business with new business. And so they basically have a place where new business can kind of organize and get themselves ready to go. And then what they do is introduce them into people who can invest them to get them launched off the ground. Well, their building, I pretty much am going to be displaying my artwork throughout their building. And then coming up, we've discussed this, not a set date, but it looks like it's going to be first or second week in May. I'll have the set date, but we're starting to do the organization. I'm going to be working with Stephanie, the event planner up there, and Sam and Dar to start getting this, this one night it might even be a whole day, but I think it's going to be a night extravaganza of art. They have a large space, so I'll, I, I'll be having an opening for my social media multimedia series, plus a couple of other paintings that I'll be introducing at the show, along with the mysterious absent trigger. So this event is going to be well attended, and if you ever want to see computer art man Jeff Mueller's artwork. This will be the one to come into for Cleveland. So kind of start putting away that first or second week in May, and I'll let you know the date's coming up there. Excellent. So that now brings me to, well, how are you, Xavier? I am fine. <laughs> it, we had, it, I just wanted to expound what a good time we did have Friday night. That was just awesome. And then um, Saturday night I wasn't with you, but had a unique uh, experience. My my niece and nephew, who are in their early 30s, organized a party for their parents, a 60-40 party. Uh, my sister Nancy and her husband Greg uh, both turned 60. Nancy's already 60 and Greg turned 60 in a week or two. 
and in June they celebrate their 40th wedding anniversary. So they got all the family together on both sides for a 60-40 party, and that was pretty awesome. And that was down at the at the Hollywood Casino in Columbus, so that was even more awesome. It's kind of strange uh, going into a place like that not having just gotten off of a plane an hour before. <laughs> <laughs> very, very cool. Yep. How did you do? Uh, I'm here, aren't I? <laughs> <laughs> exactly. Yeah. So that brings me with this week, what I wanted to cover is, basically, I want to answer why. Why I am so passionate about digital art and why I do a combination of digital artwork and regular and, and acrylic painting. I'm going to quick cover, we've done this before, but I believe that every time period has its breaking ground artwork. For instance, uh, when Leonardo da Vinci was, was developing his skills, he was developing them in a way and, and coming up with and using different technologies of ways to paint that would last a lifetime or even beyond. And he then was on the cutting edge of foreshortening, developing foreshortening and understanding uh, our uh, advancements in engineering that people have not understood in the past, which made him a cutting edge artist. Uh, let's fast forward to Andy Warhol. Andy Warhol took what most artists of the time, lith lithography, they were using it to make multiple images of their artwork that they could then sign or help make so that they could sell at a, a lesser rate and make more money than they were off their originals. And Warhol basically took the lithography and the newer um, advancements in photography and basically started creating original artwork with it. And at first, uh, he was very, it wasn't accepted. He was criticized for what he was doing at the Masters. And he basically then made it chic. And he, he, he made it the modern art and he formed his own era. And these are the kind of things that artists do. And that's what, what I'm, I'm, why I've always been so passionate and excited is that right now we are dealing with the digital computer era. And although it's been around since the 80s, it's really coming to the average person to be able to do this type of work. And then, then it's like, why? One of the reasons why I do this is because when you do an, a painting on a canvas, there's a certain amount of limitations to your detail that you're limited to brush size and, and actually the texture of the canvas. And different artists are able to get through this, but some artists work extremely huge. Some artists work in different ways. And, but what, what, the, what I found is that when you're painting with acrylics, that each individual color that you have to mix that as an artist, you can't mix, or you can, but then it takes years to do paintings, to mix the colors that exist in reality. And I found that digitally, using digital imagery, that I capture myself, and I'm looking for the painting in reality, capture it digitally, I'm able to put in some colors that if I was painting with acrylics, I, that wouldn't be there. And these are the kind of things that excite me because not only am I able to get more detail and put that on canvas, I'm able to get more colors and put that on canvas. And then whatever the process is lacking di in, in the digital realm, as far as when I'm printing in color, I can then use my acrylic skills and put that in, which allows me to make a superior piece of artwork than I could make if I was painting with acrylics or oils. Because I'm able to capture 
so much more. And the further I go down this process, the more I understand it. And I understand it pretty well right now after about 20 years in being working with digital imagery and printing it onto paper. And then now four years of working with digital image imagery and printing it onto canvas, I understand the inks and their strong points. They are my pigment. They are my paint. And when I'm painting in the computer, I can see the, the pigment of the inks going onto the canvas and I use the ones that do it very well. And I also know what's not going to transfer and I start planning in my head the acrylics that I'm going to put onto this canvas after it's printed out. And it really, really becomes an art form that up until this point in time in history, you haven't be able, been able to create. So you really are creating something special that's never been created before. And that's why I'm excited about the passion. And that's why I, I get in here every week and tell people about it because when, in the end, this will be a defined time period in art. There are very, at this moment, there are very, very, very good artists that are producing artwork digitally and then learning to put them into and birth them into the real world through many, many, many different processes. And it's so exciting and it's open to so many people because even five, no, even 10 years ago, this wasn't feasible for an average human being making an average salary. But right now it just keeps getting more accessible, which then there's so much more art being creative and it's such an exciting time. And that my friends is why. So I hope awesome. I, can, I think I've been expressing myself. What do you think, Xavier? I, I, Jeff, don't hold back. Tell us how you really feel, you know? <laughs> <laughs> Boom! Is that a wrap then? I hope so. Until next week, I should, I'm going to push hard to get a date for the show. Then it's going to be balls to the wall to the show. And, and what I want to do with that is I want to get anybody and everybody, that's why I'm starting, that can make it. This is the time. This will be the time to come see. If you're someplace else, this will be the time. So let's hope. Let's hope I have something by next week so we can all start making plans. And I want to meet everyone that can make it. So let's, uh, let's go on. Have a good week, folks.